Hey everyone and happy Technique Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you an exercise that's going to release some of that tension that we hold between our shoulder blades. It's part of the cat-cow, but it's just in the shoulder blades and the sternum area, so it's actually part of your upper core and torso. And then we're going to add some physicalization to it. As always, we're going to start the movement before the sound starts and continue the movement past the end of the sound to represent what our airflow is doing. So come along and let's stretch out those tired, achy shoulders and warm up and open up your chest after sitting in front of a computer all day long. Come to a neutral tabletop position with your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. This is just a portion of the cat-cow posture, so we're only working with the upper sternum and rib cage. Allow your sternum to fall towards the floor and the shoulder blades to kiss each other. Then bring the sternum up as if going through the shoulder blades towards the ceiling and continue to feel your shoulder blades slide on the outside of your rib cage. Drop the sternum again towards the floor. Think about squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. And again, the sternum comes up as if going through the back of the spine, through those shoulder blades. Drop one more time, letting those shoulder blades kiss one another. And then the sternum bursts through the back of the shoulder blades towards the ceiling, and those shoulder blades slide down the sides of the rib cage. This goes into the full cat-cow position as the lower spine, the lumbar spine and the sacrum become involved, and of course the cervical spine up by the neck. But we're just focusing on this upper portion for now. Here's another view from above. So watch how the shoulder blades kiss each other as your sternum drops to the floor, and how they pull along the side of the rib cage down towards almost your elbows and your wrists, and the spine arches through. Again, the shoulder blades come towards each other almost like you're gripping a pencil in between them. And then the sternum bursts through and the spine really arches. You're activating your really deep core in this stretch and releasing a lot of tension that we hold in our bodies throughout the day. So now let's add some vocalization to it. We're going to start in the position with your sternum towards the floor. And as you begin to move the sternum towards the ceiling, you'll start to sing. Continue the motion past the end of your singing and start again. Start the movement first. So continue to feel that stretch between your shoulder blades past the end of whatever exercise you choose to do. Don't start the movement at the same time as you're singing. Start the sternum moving towards the ceiling first. And then continue that stretch past the end of your singing and say hi to Zola.